Okay, hi guys, it's Laurie Corner here. Um, I'm gonna be doing some just little quick videos, um, which I've been calling the pelvic wad, which wad means workout of the day in the CrossFit world, but I know that a lot of PTs and other people are taking hold of that word and kind of that style of training. So I wanted to bring you some videos with just little tips and tricks that might help with pelvic floor function. So I know a lot of people are leaking um, with a lot of exercises and sometimes it can come back to breathing. There's a, a whole big pathology behind it which we're not going to get into in these videos but I thought I could put out some videos, little tips and tricks for certain exercises that are a little bit past rehab to try to help some of the common questions that my clients ask. So for today I'm going to do one just based on push-ups. So most people when they do push-ups will tend to hold their breath. So on most of the exercises it'll be a common theme. Sometimes the timing of when you breathe can help decrease pressure downwards um, and help with leaking or prolapse and sometimes even pain. So I'm going to show you, so if you're going to do a full push-up onto your feet, you try not to do it this way. You don't want to have your bum stuck out. So this would be, oops, let me go this way, the more advanced option. Hello, pelvic mafia. So you're going to take a breath in to come down, and you start your breath right before you press up. So yes, thanks to one Julie Weeb, who does a lot of the alignment and breathing exercises. The blow before you go. Thanks, Julie. So another modification will be on your knees. So down on your knees. Again, take a breath in. Blow out. So there's no breath holding. If you can, take a breath in to come down. Start your breath out. Pelvic floor squeeze and continue to press up holding your pelvic floor and then you can let go of it at the top. All right, so you're going to breathe in. Breathe out. Pelvic floor and press. So most people will, and they'll hold their breath for a certain part. Um, I have seen people modify it by sticking their butt out and keeping their butt up, which is fine, but I want you to think more about the coordination with breathing. So again, breathe in, breathe out. And yes, the faster and more you do, the harder it is, but it is doable. I've been practicing it for a while now. So again, breathe in to come down. Breathe out to press up. All right, so hope you like that one. 